Well, again, back on Q's TV, Brian Higgins here and a great special guest, former Orange Mid-03 grad David Tyree back in town to talk to the team here as they're sort of getting into the beginning of their summer activities. Uh, what's it like for you to get back and talk to the uh, the new Orange here tonight? Yeah, this is um, a tremendous opportunity. It's been a while since I've been back up on the hill. Um, and, you know, I've just had some, some thoughts, some experiences, and uh, really just a desire to get back and get a little bit involved and, you know, see some of the familiar faces. So it's a wonderful day just to be up here sharing this experience with my alma mater. Yeah, you've been through it all at the college and professional level and afterwards. So what uh, can you impart to these guys here today? Um, just, just, just general experiences. You know, um, I mean, you know, this is going to be an overlay of what their expectations are from, you know, in, entering this season. Uh, what their expectations should be and the standards that they should set for their lives. And ultimately, it boils down to the decisions that they make, um, you know, as it relates to their character and who they're becoming will ultimately determine the long-term success that they're looking to have. So, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, hopefully I'm going to share this in a way where it's going to resonate, um, you know, bring a lasting impact that will, you know, kind of give them some, some energy and funnel into a, to a successful year. How does it help these guys to have you tell them? It's not just some motivational speaker or something off the street. It's a guy that, that's been through it all and done it in the jersey they're wearing. Yeah, yeah, I've definitely, I've, you know, I've made my share of really bad, bad decisions. You know, and, uh, you, know, you, know, you, look at, you know, you look at the landscape, turn on the news, whether it's sports or, or in general, you, you, you're looking at people, uh, you know, make a ton of bad decisions and there's a lot, th lot of things going on. And uh, part of that is life maturity, but there's some things that can be avoided. So I'm just going to share through the lens what I've learned, how I've overcome the adversity uh, and how to some degree some of these things are really necessary to the, to the person that you're becoming and how that, you know, how that overlays and really creates that champion mindset. And so, um, you know, I, I, like I said, my goal is to leave them something, some, some, somewhat of a theme, somewhat of a song that they can sing, you know, enter into the season. Your time in the pros, and I'm still involved with the Giants now. We'll get to that in a little bit. But and there's plenty of Cuse guys on the Giants right yeah, now, right? Yeah. Nassim, Justin Pugh, and others, and throughout the league. Yeah. How, how much Syracuse pride is there in the NFL right now? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's large. You know, and um, you know, it's, it's because of the, the history, the rich tradition mm -hmm. of the program. And, you know, I think a lot of people believe that we're hanging on to that rich tradition because we've been through some, you know, some muddy waters. But, um, you know, obviously there's been a resurgence with some, some, of, these, some of these more recent players. So um, there, there's certainly a lot, but we, we have higher expectations. And I think that's even, um, you know, what I would like to believe, you know, I can be a small nugget as far as, you know, some of the players that have had some measure of, you know, good success as, a, as an orange, orange. You know, I got the orange men tied to my, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. to my DNA, but as a part of this rich orange men tradition, um, to come back and really, you know, to show what these guys are part of. You know, this is not this is not a second tier program. This is a place where history has taken place, and in, in, in how important it is to be a part of it. And of course, that orange tie with the Giants and the, the head coach uh, Tom Coughlin as well is, uh, you know, from your time there, and you're back, uh, part of the Giants family now, working with the current players. Tell us about this uh, new gig you started back at the beginning of the year. Yeah, it's been a good, you know, a good transition for me. I'm only five years removed from the game myself, but I've been able to just kind of navigate through my experiences and, uh, you know, some measure of credibility. And I'm now director of player engagement, which is essentially player development. And I just get a chance to walk with guys. I get a chance to be in the locker room to help them on the field, you know, um, spend a lot of time with the rookies as they're becoming professionals, helping them get the information they need, mm -hmm. resources that they need. And it's everything from, you know, career, you know, career transition, career development to, uh, you know, continuing education. They have to develop as men just as much as they're already have asserted themselves to be the top, you know, top, uh, you know, uh, football players throughout the world. And lastly for you, David Tyree, we have to, and I think in every David Tyree interview this comes up, doesn't it? The helmet catch. we got to ask you about the helmet That's catch. True. And what's that been like through your life here? It's now the last seven, eight years since, since you made that play <laughs> and it, the last catch of your career, right? Yeah, it turns yeah. out to be one of the best plays in Super Bowl history. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really amazing. You say seven, eight years. I can't believe it's been that long, but it really has. <laughs> yeah, man, we're approaching Super Bowl 50. I played in 42. So um, it's, been a, it's been a great, great you know, and, and I don't say this in like a, a, a death-defying way. It's been somewhat of a, more, a memorial for me. It's like this place that I can revisit, mm -hmm. and it brings back, um, you know, so many stories from Giants fans, you know, you know, that, you know, people who've cried together, people who've, you know, they've injured themselves celebrating, um, you know, 17-year drought in New York City. I'm from New Jersey. It's just so many 
emotions that it leads to, the story that kind of leads up to it. My mom passed away. So everything kind of resurges anytime I get a chance to revisit that. And the best part about it, it is not just about me. Mm -hmm. um, it was the impact for the team. It was the impact on the city. It was the impact on all those players. Um, you know, fans that got a chance to live through that, you know, moment that, you know, has kind of delved you know, or made an imprint throughout, you know, NFL history. Better to be remembered than not, right? That's what I'm saying. That's <laughs> what I tell people. Better to be remembered for catching it than not catching it. All right, David, look forward to you imparting your wisdom on uh, the current Orange here tonight. Listen, I'm truly looking forward. Thanks for having me. All right, Orange Nation, that's David Tyree.